Bessie Coleman. 1892-1926 Bessie Coleman was the first African-American female and Native American female pilot. Bessie was born on January 26, 1892, to a large family of 12 siblings in Atlanta, Texas. Her mother worked as a maid, and her father, who was part Native American, worked as a sharecropper. Sharecropping was a hard life where farmers had to give the landowner a portion of their crop. Bessie always had a strong desire to better herself. She earned money in two different ways. She helped pick cotton and she washed and ironed clothes, both very hard jobs. When she finally earned enough money, she attended the Colored Agricultural and Normal University, Langston University today. Unfortunately, she had to drop out after she ran out of money. Bessie didn't want to go back to what she used to do and knew there were more opportunities up north. In 1915, she moved to Chicago and attended the Burnham School of Beauty Culture. She found a job at a local barbershop and she began working as a manicurist, a person who treats and takes care of hands and fingernails. During this time in Bessie's life, World War I had started. Bessie lived in her brother's home while they served in the United States military. Bessie was fascinated by her brother's stories about their time in France, especially about women who could fly airplanes. This was when she began to have the desire to learn how to fly. Unfortunately, none of the flight schools would let her attend because she was African-American and a woman. Bessie took a big step and left the United States. She moved to France. In 1922, Bessie Coleman received her air pilot's license from the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale in France and had her first public flight. She became the first African-American and Native American woman to become a pilot. Over the next few years, Bessie performed at flight shows, gave flight lessons and went around the world doing speeches. Bessie would often refuse to go to segregated places. Segregation is setting one group of people apart from another group. Most of the time, one group was treated unfairly. Bessie was deeply admired for standing up for things that were wrong. Bessie had plans to open an aviation school. Unfortunately, on April 30, 1926, she lost her life during an exhibition in Jacksonville, Florida. She always encouraged other African Americans and women to learn how to fly. There are many who were inspired by Queen Bess. Bessie had to travel all the way to France to get her pilot's license. Can you find France on a map? Where would you like to travel to someday?